Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time we made it to the bridge of the Rickenbacker, discovered that we couldn't separate the ships because the many had wrapped itself around them, so we injected ourselves into its guts using an escape pod. Our mission now is to reach the central nervous system and destroy it, so let's pick it up right there. Now about the body of the many, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is that this is by far the hardest part of the game. The good news is that amongst that difficulty, we're completely finished fighting robots. So there is that bonus. That and we've pretty much reached full power in terms of our psi abilities. So we can freely use all of our resources. All of that, at least, is good. I mentioned earlier, too, this is the point of no return. You can't get back to any of the earlier levels from this point forward. And, one other important note, no more resurrection stations. If you have been using those as crutches... The many hold sway here. Even I cannot maintain contact. You are on your own, human. Fail me not. So, if you've been using the resurrection stations as a crutch, you're in trouble here. You can't die anymore. That email was... Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding On Your Own. Indeed we are. Alright, here's a log. Prefontaine, July 12th, 2114, regarding Stuck In Here. One of the flying things dragged me and David here last night. I don't remember much about the trip. I guess I must have blocked it out, half-conscious most of the time. I keep remembering the part from Pinocchio, you know, where the old man goes looking for the puppet inside the whale. Except I don't think anyone's coming in here to save me. There's a spider. This one's full speed. Got him, he had an arachnid organ. We welcome, we welcome you to our biomass. We invite you to spread yourself out on our war. One Goodness. We welcome you to our biomass. We invite you to spread yourself out on our war. One of our many will be there to help you before long. Alright, now let's kill this bastard. Very good. Alright, so... We can go right, straight, or left. Next to the corpse, there's a crystal shard. On the corpse, we have heavy combat armor and a psi hypo. Let's go left first. And another one of those membranes. Yes, I thought I remembered that. There's a psi reaver in here. Let's go invisible first. Here's its brain. I wonder, is it actually immune to everything or not? Let's find out. Let's try pyrokinesis. Brain first, then the reaver. Oh no. We can take care of him this way. Let's just use a Psy Hypo first. Keep our worm skin armor on. Now well, let's deal with him. There you go. Asshole. He dropped a Psy Reaver brain structure. Up there you see a nerve cluster, which we'll destroy with cryokinesis. Before we 
take the warp skin armor back off. Now on the ground, on that corpse we have a rad hypo and an antitoxin hypo. Farther down we have three proximity grenades. Inside the body bag we have ten cyber modules. That's certainly handy. Brings my total to 25. Now let's go up here past where the nerve cluster was. Let's destroy that membrane and let's see what we find. Oh, we're back in this hallway. It's as if we had gone straight and made a big loop. Let's see what's up here. A section of the ship. And I hear eggs inside. Swarm eggs. Well, let's just wait for them to die. Sounds like grub eggs, too. Alright, swarm's dead. Search the egg, find nothing. That must be... These must be the swarm eggs. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. <laughs> Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Let's destroy the grub now. Let's... I don't think I can even reach that one, so... For the sake of thoroughness. We've got a few chemicals in here. There's a security crate. And a replicator. Let's search the corpse. He's got He's gonna hatch some grubs. Should have known that in advance. Let's try that again. Here they go. Count two. Alright, the corpse has 71 nanites and 20 prisms, which we'll go ahead and recycle along with those proximity grenades. Now let's see what's in the replicator. Hi there. Please make your selection. Psy hypo for 120, bottle of juice for 6, toxin hypo for 56, med kit for 208. Let's go ahead and psy hack this. Oops. Let's get the bonus side that comes from worm skin armor. Aha. I need to keep the worm skin armor on while I hack. And the difficulty will only be 80% instead of 95. Again. And again. Yeah, let's quick save with the armor on. That'll be a little better. This is in 
insane, I'm sorry. Eventually, I know it just takes a long, long time. This is why, even though we theoretically could, we don't backtrack and sci hack all those security crates. Time I get two, I get so excited. But you never do get that third one.
Alright, slide hypos cost 80 now. Save, let's take the worm skin armor off. Let's use one of those. Eh. Let's go ahead and put worm heart in too. Now I'll just need to keep track of that and use Electron Cascade to keep it charged. Anyway, the desk is empty. This body has ten cyber modules. Spawn the swarm. No problem, we'll just turn invisible before we search it. I'm just gonna leave the worm skin armor on too. Invisibility activated. That was insufficient, apparently. Let's try again. Let's wait until those jerks die again. What did I just hear? Nothing too important, I guess. Pyro seems like a good default skill. Let's just hold it on that. Let's keep moving forward. An audio log. Prefontaine, July 12th, 2114. Regarding central control. Now I'm convinced that this many, as it calls itself, indeed has a centralized nervous system which means it would have to have some kind of centralized control. To this end, I've gathered as many weapons as I could and stashed them in caches. One of the beasts discovered a cache and apparently mistook it for food. It simply brought it into the crunching room. Another audio log, Prefontaine, July 12th, 2114, regarding opening the sphincter. Passageways are blocked by some kind of sphincter. I follow the nerves that threaded out of the walls from the blockage. They lead to a pair of nerve clusters. When the passageway is open, the cluster seems to contract. Conversely, I wonder if I was able to destroy both clusters. It would open the blockage permanently. I'm anxious to see the rest of this beast. Alright. We gotta get around this thing. Let's see if the viral proliferator has any ammo. It does not. Let's search this corpse, a med hypo, and eight worm clusters for our recycling pleasure. Let's take a left here. Into another ship area. There's a maintenance tool for our recycler. Some more chemicals. A corpse with version 3 research software and a psi hypo. A security crate. And I think that's about it. Go back here. Let's keep on moving for now. Let's take this left. Let's destroy the spider. That was fun. Radiation hazard. Oh, let's switch on our hazard suit. Search this corpse. We've got a worm heart implant, worm skin armor, and 12 anti personnel bullets. We can recycle both of those. Search the desk. There's an auto repair unit and a toxin hypo. Down here we have a medical kit. Uh, let's use a rad hypo right quick. Now let's swim down to this other tunnel. If we can convince our man to get to it. I think it shouldn't be this much of a problem. The machine mother cannot help you inside the biomass. Her coldness is... Her coldness is Mother cannot help you inside the biomass. 
coldness. The coldness. The coldness is not welcome within the warmth of our flesh. Our problem, I think, is that we're out of air. Even though we have no O2 meter. Uh, Alright. Let's search a little more thoroughly again. This corpse has a crystal shard. If we had gone left instead of right, we would end up in the same room. Up here, this one has another worm heart implant, which will... Go ahead and just eat. Now let's check down here one more time. Something happened there, I'm not sure what, but never fear, we'll pick up right where we left off. Let's try again. Let's just Mostly just checking to make really make sure this room is clear. And actually, there's a whole nother tunnel. Which looks to be the way we're supposed to swim. Uh, let's med hypo right quick. Alright, this radiated spot appears to be where we're actually supposed to go. First, let's search behind this membrane. This body has 73 nanites, an antitoxin hypo, and three disruption grenades, which will feed into the recycler. Now then, let's head through the radiation zone. Radiation hazard. Nothing in here. We've got two corpses, ten cyber modules. That's a worm launcher with 36 worm clusters. And that... Second, third cluster. Are very flesh. With no thought of compassion, compassion. Do, do you think, think we will sit idly by while you corrupt the very womb of our existence? Radiation hazard. Well, I hope my sound is still on, or my mic is still on, because whatever that issue was just happened again. Let's save here. I don't know what keeps happening, folks. I'm sorry about that. But... Hopefully, things settle down a little. Alright, let's recycle those 36 worms. Let's go ahead and pop a Psy Hypo. And a Med Hypo while we're at it. And let's get back through this area. Let's use another Psy Hypo. Just so we're nice and close to full. That's where I like to be. Alright, now let's head down this way. Let's destroy that membrane keep track of our worm heart implant, because we don't want to let it run out. Let's just burn down the spider. That's fun. Same thing with the rumbler. This guy has a Psy Booster and 57 nanites. I need to put my worm skin back on. No wonder my pyrokinesis was so weak. It's 12 standard bullets and 6 cyber modules. There's a midwife. 
you know, I shouldn't get so carried away that, that I forget that a lot of the enemies are pretty easy to just straight up wrench. She's one of them. Alright. So, I don't quite know where the sphincter was. <gasps> Whatever just happened is irritating to me. I want to check out this area. Oh, we've got a swarm. Let's try the egg room again. Hey, a healing gland. That's actually very handy. Oh, good grief. How annoying was that? can eat another med hypo, it's not so bad. We're immune to analid toxins. There's another healing gland. That's nice. Oh, I thought we were immune to toxins. I guess the first one just missed us. Duly noted. It's empty, so let's destroy it. Search that one. Wrench it. Uh, here's another ship room. We've got chemicals all over the ground. Over here we have a med kit and six anti-personnel bullets to feed into the recycler. Down here we have tech upgrade station, a stats upgrade station. Hi there. Please make your this selection. This replicator. Bag of chips for four. Toxin hypo 56. Anti-personnel shotgun shells 144. 10 prisms, 192. Pile of worms on the ground. More eggs. Have to wait until I hear the swarm dissipate. In the meantime, let's search this corpse where we find a rad hypo and a toxin hypo. If we head left, we just find a recharging station and an audio log. Chemical manifest added to PDA. Chemical Manifest Rickenbacker. Laboratory Stockroom Inventory Rickenbacker Storage Room 23C. Arsenic AS1, Antimony SB1, Barium BA2, Californium CF1, Cesium CS2, Copper CU1, Fermium FM1, Gallium GA1, Hassium HS3, Iridium IR1, Molybdenum MO1, Osmium OS1, Radium RA3, Selenium SE3, Sodium NA1, Technetium TC1, Tellurium TE4, Vanadium V1, and Yttrium Y3. This inventory list is required by UNN safety code number 134882 to be kept on hand in all areas of hazardous chemical storage. Storage is defined by UNN safety code number 195331 to consist of all areas in which hazardous chemicals, see safety code number 093355, are stored in quantities greater than 50 grams per 10 square feet for durations of greater than 24 hours. Again, I'd rather keep pyrokinesis as our default. So let's hit the charger again. Now let's go deal with those eggs. Well, all I hear now is a grub. So we'll deal with that. There's another one in the corner over here. Which I guess I'll have to go deal with. Got that one. That one. This egg has nothing inside it. Or rather, it's unsearchable. That one's got nothing inside it. The desk is empty. Crystal shard on the ground. Small beaker. There's some worms we can harvest right here. And then, of course, we'll recycle. 
security crate on the body, 50 nanites and an antitoxin hypo, weapon upgrade unit, and here's the psi upgrade unit. Let's get, <coughs> I have 51 modules, let's get psycho reflective aura. That's everything I really need. There are a few more modules left, so I'll get meta creative barrier if I hit 35 again. Nothing through that door. No surprise there, I guess. Now that we've checked things out back here, let's hit the charging station one more time on our way out. We don't want Wormheart running out of juice. And with that established, I guess now we know where the sphincter was. Right here, where these nerves end. Oh, there it is. Very good. Oh, let's head on through. There's another midwife up ahead. You seek your associates, but you cannot find them. You are so very alone. How does it feel to be one against the infinite? Here's an audio log, Prefontaine, July 12th, 2114, regarding grinding noises. There's some kind of horrible grinding noise coming from the next area. It sounds like... chewing. I think... I think I know what's going to happen here. This is some kind of digestive tract of a very, very large animal. I go back and forth between being fascinated and terrified. The creature's a remarkable discovery. I wish I could only live long enough to learn more. Alright, let's search this corpse. There's a med hypo and a psi hypo. Get nice and close and wrench down the midwife. Wrench down this spider as well.
monster. Wrenchable. Which is delightful. That was quite a fall. It wasn't particularly keen on taking it. I hear another rumbler. Deal with it the same way. Hypnosis. Hell, let's hypnotize the spider too. Adrenaline's already on. Let's kill the spider first. Then let's deal with the rumbler. Spider's dead. Rumbler's dead. Neither of them have anything. Oh, we killed the midwife too. There's another spider. Let's deal with it. Alright, there's a jet in the center of this room. Next to the corpse, a crystal shard. On the corpse, a psi hypo and three disruption grenades to feed into the recycler. In the desk, an audio log. Prefontaine, July 12th, 2114 regarding the many and us. Besides the parasitic behavior evidenced in the life cycle of the human analid hybrids, it's becoming clear to me that Shodan has bred the many to use humans for other purposes. First of all, the many clearly has the capability to convert human flesh to energy. It can eat us, but it can also directly use us in the creation of its egg pods. Corpses are fed into some kind of tubular structure, and eggs are birthed through a nearby tube. I've been unable to determine whether the organism is directly converting the corpses into egg structures or not, but it's clear that there's some connection between the nutrient pool we provide and the eggs that are being produced. Let's keep on rolling. Take this right first. I hear spiders. I'll just cast Adrenaline. By itself, it lets me take spiders out with one whack of the wrench. It's pretty good. We've got a swarm egg there. Let's head down here. We're really getting nailed here. Handle the swarm eggs first. Empty. Empty. Four eggs we have 
10 cyber modules, a maintenance tool for the recycler, and another worm skin armor. Down here, empty egg, empty egg, four toxin hypo, a psi hypo, and four worm clusters for the recycler. We head down here to that pool of water. Spider. There's a membrane, which we'll have to break through. Your time is running out. This place is a womb where we grow our future. We've yet to see our most beautiful creation. All you have is your hatred and your individuality. Now don't you wish you joined us? Alright. Looks like everything in here is dead. An annelid blob with a huge orifice. That's lovely sounding. Here's another big egg chamber. Swarms, naturally. Let's back out of there. Use another Psy Hypo. We're running a little bit low again. And let's search that egg chamber once again. Once more with feeling. Hey, that one just spit out a grub. Nice and easy. Empty egg. Empty egg. Empty egg. Empty egg. Dark beaker. This corpse has three disruption grenades and a toxin hypo. This one has a crystal shard and ten cyber modules. This one, nothing. Let's head up here now. Just another egg room. I was all but certain there'd be a swarm in there, so we'll have to wait for it to die. It's no real trouble. Since I don't think it spotted us. Kill the two grubs. Let's search the eggs first. Empty. Empty. has a worm skin armor, eight worm clusters, and three disruption grenades. This body has 57 nanites. This one, three incendiary grenades and ten prisms. All of which are excellent recycler fuel. I think that's it for this area. back to the last intersection. Right here. Now let's take this left to what looks like another ship area. We have eggs and a worm pile, which we can harvest with our beaker before we recycle. 
That egg is empty. That egg is empty. So I vote we just cryo them down. Avoid having to wait out any swarms. Another large beaker, which we will recite. Harvest worms and recycle. And an audio log, Prefontaine, July 12th, 2114, regarding analid life cycle. While I don't understand the analid life cycle fully, it's clearly extremely diverse. The eggs produce either a male or a female spore. The male, the drones, are wasp-like creatures. The female are worm-like analids that seek out a host to infect. Following infection, the host begins to transform into a human analid hybrid. From that point, the life form can take numerous paths. I believe this path is determined by the many itself. The creatures have communicated their need to grow the biomass, so I imagine that biological material is their primary resource. Therefore, each path has costs and benefits. The proto-arachnid is extremely quick and potentially relatively cheap in biomass. The hulking, fleshy ones are powerful, but are clearly a larger investment. I've observed only one example of the floating organisms. The only comfort is that the more dangerous organisms are quite costly to produce, limiting their numbers. Okay, we got more eggs back here. Just grub eggs, thankfully. Kill the grubs. Search the eggs. Empty. Back here we have an empty crate. Nine disruption grenades, all of which will go in the recycler. An empty worm launcher and 20 prisms, which will go in the recycler. An empty crate, 10 prisms, 3 incendiary grenades, and 6 anti-personnel bullets, all for the recycler. And 6 cyber modules and 47 nanites in the trash can. Now I need to charge up my worm heart implant, so let's do that right quick. And let's take the only path we haven't explored yet. This one. We got a rumbler and a spider. Here we've got a corpse with a med kit and an antitoxin hypo. In the crate, an audio log, Prefontaine, July 12th, 2114, regarding the many. It's clear that this thing I'm trapped inside is intimately linked with all the organisms I observed on board the Von Braun. Strike that. This creature is the same organism. Perhaps the best way to describe it, or perhaps the only way I can comprehend it, is that the organism serves to perform the highest mental functions of the entire species. The smaller creatures exist only to enact its will. Now, strike that too. All the specimens act as a whole, like different organs in a single body, with this entity acting primarily as a brain. If one were to destroy this large specimen, I wonder, would it snuff out all the others? There's another audio log over here, Prefontaine, July 12th, 2114, regarding Many's evolution. With only a few short years of evolution, they have been able to conquer this starship, mankind's mightiest creation. Where were we after 40 years of evolution? What swamp were we swimming around in, single-celled and mindless? What if Shodan's creations are superior to us? What will they become in a million years, in ten million years? What's clear is that Shodan shouldn't be allowed to play God. She's far too good at All it. Alright. Let's pop another Psy Hypo before we keep going. Another membrane to wipe it open, and then a big jump down into a pool. Let's search that corpse. He's got a crystal shard, and... 12 anti-personnel bullets, which we'll just pop into the recycler. See, there are two more corpses in this pool, which I need to search. The 
this one has 20 prisms and a psi eye bow. This one, 12 anti-personnel bullets. Let's get back to the surface before we run out of air. Feed all those goodies into the recycler. And now I saw a Psy Reaver. Destroying it now is useless. Need to take out the brain first. Let's turn invisible so we can hunt for the brain. If this ability activated. Well, we've got a pistol, a large beaker, the corpse is empty, there's an audio log next to it. Let's just take all that stuff and get past everybody. Until we're nice and out of sight. This corpse, three frag grenades, three proximity grenades. I'm hopeful I'm sort of safe here. Let's unload the pistol. Let's recycle the grenades and the bullets. Let's pop adrenaline and fight this rumbler. Since I think he's by himself. Nope, most definitely not. Let's just turn invisible and... Oh yeah, let's listen to the audio log we picked up. Prefontaine, July 12th, 2114, regarding... I'm being taken away now. It's my turn. I'm being dragged into some kind of chamber. The ceiling is aligned with a, a number of panels, uh, bristling with what appear to be uh, stalactites or, or teeth. The creature's put me down now. He's leaving. I might have been spared. What's going on? It's, it's dark in here. I, I can hear the moans of someone. I... Claudette! Is that you? Uh, I seem to have stepped into something soft. S slippery. I'm still like tight. Alright. Let's turn invisible and move past this awful gauntlet of bad guys. A couple of worm piles right here. Let's go ahead and fill that large beaker and recycle the worm clusters. Here is the many central nervous system. There's no point in engaging any of this stuff. All I'm going to do is hit the central nervous system twice with Soma Transference. Do you know what you have brought? Our tragedy written by your hand. Alright, we've killed it. All you have to do is hit it twice with Soma Transference, and then, once it's dead, jump into this water. down this little predetermined route. Alright. Well, we don't know exactly where we are right now, but where am I? That we're gonna call a video. This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. We have successfully destroyed the many, which has been our antagonist since the beginning of the game. Why isn't the game over yet? Find out next time. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.